Altogether, the National Center for Disease Control studied prostitutes in seven areas. Colorado Springs was one of the cities. John Potteret of the El Paso County Health Department compiled the figures for Colorado Springs. Of 71 prostitutes studied, only one was found to be carrying the AIDS virus. She has not developed AIDS. Potteret says the study shows that prostitutes are no more likely to have AIDS than any other woman that engages in sex with multiple partners or intravenous drug use. He says the study also brings out another important point. There were kind of interested in finding out, this is a first step, what would it mean if a female prostitute ha had it as far as her being a threat to the community, and she clearly is a threat if she's infected, but much less of a threat than I think was uh, a thought uh, initially. Uh, so that the only difference between what was thought initially and now is the magnitude of the threat. I think it's much less of a threat than, than we worried about. 835 prostitutes were studied in Atlanta, Miami, New Jersey, Las Vegas, San Francisco, and Los Angeles, as well as Colorado Springs. About 12% of them tested positive for the virus. But Potterat says those positive results have more to do with IV drug use in geographic region than just being a prostitute. And I think what this should dispel is the idea that AIDS virus behaves in prostitutes the same way, say, a standard venereal disease does, like gonorrhea or syphilis. It clearly does not. I mean, the risk is there, but it's very small. Deborah Hill, New Center 11.